In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Killjoy. Welcome back to my shotgun only to platinum series, where I go from iron all the way to platinum, only using shotguns. And on top of that, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a bunch of Killjoy tips and tricks. If you're looking for a Killjoy setup on B site Ascent, this is a setup that you could use. And then after you do this setup, you can either stand behind boxes or on stairs. And the way the setup works is as soon as the alarm bell goes off, you activate both of the swarm grenades, the back one first. And then right after, you peek out. Whenever you hear them trying to go for an orb and you have a close range gun like a shotgun or a spectre, you should peek out with your team. When you're defending, you don't need to always use your ultimate whenever you need to retake sight or hold a sight. You can also use it whenever you have spike down in like mid or something. You could just ult right on top of spike and it'll either make them push out or stall a bit of time. In this round, I knew that Jet had an operator. So what I did was I didn't need to peek her, right? I knew that my teammate was just going to flank him from on top. So I was just trying to waste his time as much as possible by placing down my turret or placing down my alarm. But so he would be distracted on trying to destroy that. And then right as that happening, my teammate can easily kill him. And if you're looking for another setup, this is another setup you could do on B site Ascent. And then with this setup, you do need another teammate on site to peek out as soon as the alarm bell goes off. And you also need to be playing stairs. Whenever you're pushing onto a site, you need to have at least one of your teammates going mid. And that's cause whenever you go mid, you can pretty much corner them onto site like that. Just like I did in this round. And cause of that, I was able to literally kill two of them on site cause they really couldn't do anything. If you're looking for an alt spot whenever you're pushing onto B site ascent, you could do this alt spot right here, but you need to make sure that you do it behind the box. Because if you don't do it behind the box, then they can easily break it with a hard hitting gun like an Odin. And then whenever the alt has like 5 seconds left, then you need to start pushing onto site and have your controller smoke CT. And then just like that, you're gonna have free sight. But sadly, we weren't able to win the game and we lost 9 to 13. Let's see how much RR we ended up losing. We ended up only losing 16 RR, meaning we now have 49 RR and Silver 3. Let's go into the next game. If you're looking for an alt spot in A site Icebox, this is a really good alt spot you could do to get on site. It covers everything but corner of screens. And then with this ultimate, you could get all the way to screens and just hold that corner. And then afterwards, if you're a killjoy, you can even set up if you want to. If you're just trying to look at mid, this is what you can do. You can stand right here and just keep on jumping. You'll see how much people go on top of two and, and under two. And from there, if there's not already alarm bot kitchen, you could go there with your shotgun. When you're defending and your team gets spiked back yellow, you can just ult on this spot right here. And it literally covers everything other than the garage side. And that's so far apart that you could literally hold so much and get so much space with this one ult alone. And whenever they're pushing onto A site, you could just do this all right here and it blocks their whole push up until bell. And that stalls enough time for some person to flank or some people to rotate. But sadly we weren't able to win overtime and we lost the game 12 to 14. Let's see how much RR we ended up losing. We actually ended up only losing 14 RR, meaning I now have 35 RR in silver 3. Let's go into the next game. On Fracture, whenever you get a pick like this, you have to wait for your controller before you get entry onto site. And also, whenever you entry onto site, the first thing you gotta do is make sure that no one is towered. This is a really good alt spot that you can do when you're trying to take site on B site Fracture. And if you're looking for where the spot is, it's right under the whole site. But there is one downside. If they have a breach, then they can easily destroy it with the breach aftershock. Just watch out for that. Even when you're entering onto B site from arcade, you still have to watch out for people up top tower. Whenever you're defending A site, you have to try to take control of door. If you don't have control of door, then it's going to be really easy for them to entry onto site. You just have to hold door with all your life, no matter what happens. In this round, I got controller spike near no sight, so what I just decided to do was use my ultimate because I knew it was either going to make them push out or it was going to make them back off for my other teammates to kill them. Either way, it was a win-win situation for me. This is an A sight setup you can do for A main. And the way it works is whenever the alarm bug goes off, you activate the back swarm grenade first and then the forward swarm grenade. And then right after, you peek out and kill them all. And after all of those kill drill ults, we were able to win the game 13-11. to 11. Let's see how much RR we ended up gaining. 
We actually ended up gaining 18 RR, meaning I now have 53 RR and Silver 3. Quick reminder, I coach my viewers. If you want to get coached, just comment down your Discord name and join my Discord server. Let's go into the next game. This is like a small setup for a site bind. You put your alarm bot so if you know that they're entering onto site, and then when they're focused on the alarm bot, the turret starts shooting them. And this is a full setup for b site bind. And if you're wondering where you should place your turret, just place it anywhere so whenever they drop down, the turret will start shooting them. In this round, they started hard pushing and I was the only person on site, so what I decided to do was ult. The Killjoy ultimate can really stop their pushes, either stops their pushes or makes them push even harder. So you do have to watch out for that. But I had a shotgun, so I knew that if they were gonna push, I was gonna be able to easily kill them. Whenever you're pushing on the site, it's not always good to push after you have spiked down. But whenever you know that they're close and you have a shotgun, then it might be a smart option to push outside your smoke. Whenever you're pushing out to site, always watch out for people in or around smokes with shotguns. They can really mess up your round. This is a really good alt spot if you're pushing out to B site on bind. It covers everything other than CT, so you will have to have your controller smoke that off. On bind, it's really good to push in lamps with a shotgun. It'll increase your chances of killing them by a whole lot. It's not ideally to push into CT, but the reason I pushed into CT this round is because I knew my teammate had their flanks, so I just tried to distract them or make them weak. And just like that, we were able to win the game 13 to 10. Let's see how much RR we ended up gaining. Since I did match MVP, I ended up gaining 23 RR, meaning I now have 76 RR and Silver 3. I think we will be able to get to Gold 1 by next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something new or enjoyed, consider subscribing. I also stream all of these games right here on my YouTube, and I completed Sage only to Platinum. If you want to watch that, it's in the bottom right of your screen. That's it for the video. Later.